Well, I've long been a campaigner for getting access to medicinal cannabis and so set up a cross-parliamentary working group based around some legislation that I had drafted and one of the most uh, unlikely people that I worked with was Ian McDonald. So Senator McDonald and um, you know the Greens have very little in common uh, but one of the things that was pretty obvious was that he was at least open to the idea of people getting access to medicinal cannabis and through the Senate committee system which is one of those ways that you do break down barriers across the political divide because you're working together, you're often going out and if you're staying somewhere overnight, you might eat together and stay in the same hotel together. Um, what we saw was, um, you know, people's stories being told. And so when there's a 60-year-old, you know, bloke from rural Queensland coming in um, advocating for medicinal cannabis because his wife's got Parkinson's, uh, and then you see someone like Ian McDonald actually engage with him on a very human level, you know, the politics goes out the window. And so that was really important. We got that political uh, consensus, national, liberal, labour, independent, and of course green, um, about to support a bill for medicinal cannabis. And that was really the trigger for the government to introduce their own legislation. It's still inadequate, we need to fix it, but we'd have nothing uh, if it wasn't for a group of politicians coming together and saying really clearly, this is not about politics, it's actually about getting things done for people.